what is up guys it's your boy vivid we back with another video and this video i'm talking about five things that you need starting off as a producer i remember when i was starting off as a producer i didn't really know what i needed to start producing so i was basically like searching up on the internet you know looking just watching videos and just trying to understand like what i needed to start producing what i needed to start making beats so I decided to make a video on five things that you need as a beginning producer. And before I start the video, can you please smash that like button so it can help me out and my 50 subscribers. Please, I need some likes. But anyways, let's get back into the video. The first thing that you need is a computer or a laptop. You just need something to work out of, out of and it doesn't matter if, uh, if you have an ex expensive computer or your computer is not that good. As long as your computer is modern in the last, I would say, five years, you should be able to run any program that you need to make beats. Which is leading on to my second point. You need a digital audio workstation. A digital audio workstation stands for a DAW. And what a DAW is, is basically what you make the beats on. It's the program that you need to make beats. And there's not one program, there are various programs that does this, um, such as FL Studio, such as Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic, if you're using a Mac. So, you know, there's different ones that works for, you know, it's just your preference. I would say to do your research. Me personally, I use FL Studio, you know, FL Gang, we out here, yes sir. But yeah, I use FL Studio. I like it personally. I think it's easier to use. The interface is pretty easy to use. So I recommend FL Studio, but like I said, that's just a personal preference. So if you guys wanted to uh, learn more about digital audio workstations, there's other videos, or if you guys wanna make, want me to make a video on the other ones that there are out there, I would gladly do that to explain you know, the difference. Even though there's not much of a difference, the only thing that's different about them is the interface and how certain things are is like the certain different functions but all in all they all do the same thing they all give you the same results is making a beat you know or making whatever you could record whatever you know it's not particularly making a beat but you use those to make a beat but you could also record uh, make tracks you know you could do a lot of things you could record podcasts so it's not only for making beats but since this is a video about me talking about things you need as a producer so it's mostly focused on beats and I don't know why I just started talking so much just now. Third thing you need, you need some headphones. Headphones are crucial. See, right here, these are my headphones. I don't, I forgot the name. I think they're called, oh yeah, One Audio. There was, they were on sale on Amazon for like $33. But honestly, these headphones are amazing. If you guys want to buy the equipment that I have, I'll comment it down in the link below if you're interested see what I have and if you're if you want to get it yeah you want good headphones you want quality headphones if you have earbuds and that's what you have for now then that could work too it's really just headphones you know because speakers are expensive and I don't expect I, I wouldn't say to go uh, like if you're starting off as producers to automatically go and buy speakers even though speakers do help when it comes to mixing and hearing your the mix out loud and in a room but it's better off to start with headphones, start with what you have. So if you have Apple headphones, if you have, you know, whatever headphones, if it works, it works. As long as you can plug into your computer and you can hear it, the better. But I recommend over ear headphones so you can get a quality sound and it sounds good. Number four, you need a MIDI keyboard. A MIDI keyboard. This is a MIDI keyboard. I had this for like about two years now. I broke like two already. <laughs> but these last a long time these are very sturdy this is the akai mpk mini 2 i recommend getting this as a beginner it's only a hundred dollars i think it's worth the investment um i had it for a, a, a while and I, I love my akai mpk mini you know i take it everywhere i go that's my baby so i recommend getting a midi keyboard it allows you to like uh, play notes via the digital audio workstation and it makes it easier let's say if you have like if you want to play a melody if it makes it easier i feel like having a keyboard kind of makes it easier when it comes to coming up with melodies in my opinion so i recommend getting a midi keyboard 
and uh, a Kai MPK is a great beginner keyboard for you to start with. Number five, you need good drum kits. The reason why I say you need good drum kits because you want quality sounding drums, especially when it comes to making beats. Like you wanna make sure that your drums are hitting as hard as possible. So make sure that you have quality sounding drums. And the way to find quality sounding drums is there's various websites you could buy drum kits off or you could have um, other producer friends. If you have other producer friends, you can get drum kits off of them if they have some that they're willing to share or you can exchange you know, drum kits or you can also look on the internet and find free drum kits that have quality sounds. Um, I recommend looking on Reddit. Reddit has a lot of quality drum kits you can find. You know, as long as you are looking, you can find quality, good sounding drum kits. Like, trust me, like just look on the internet, do your research, and you can find some quality drum kits, which will make your beat sound a hundred times better by just having quality sounds when it comes to making your beats. Okay, to sum it all up, the five things that you need is one, a good computer, good laptop, doesn't matter. As long as it's decent, you're good to go. A digital audio workstation, such as FL Studio, Logic, Ableton, Pro Tools. Headphones, good quality headphones. Good quality headphones. Number three, that's good quality headphones. Number four, a MIDI keyboard. Gotta get, gotta have your MIDI keyboard. And number five, good quality drum kits. When it comes to your drums, cause you want your drums to slap. Those are the five things that I wanted to share with you guys on starting off as a producer. If you guys have any other questions, please be sure to comment down below. I'll reply. If you have any other tips, comment down below, share your information. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate that, me and my 50 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Vivid and I'm out.